mesothelioma or asbestos lung cancer? Choose the right law firm by asking, what are your highest verdicts? What experience do you have? How many lawyers are on staff? How many clients have you represented? Speak to Whites in Luxembourg at 800 Cancers to get unmatched answers. It's the biggest financial decision of your life. Call 800 Cancers or visit cancers.law. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman in downtown Los Angeles. Three high-rise buildings here have become a nationwide destination for taggers. Look at all the graffiti they've put up, up and down the building. Now the city has a plan to clean it up. I'll have a live report. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Some positive news for our nation's economy. American companies added more jobs than expected last month. We'll break down the details. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. How much longer will winter last? What Punxsutawney Phil predicts on this Groundhog Day. Good morning from the Pomona Fairplex behind me. The more than 1,000 hot rods, non-hot rods that are at dis on display at the Grand National Roadster Show. Check out Vaughn Hot Rod. That's his real name, and he's pinstriping a piece of the KTLA memorabilia. Stick around. The Grand Reveal when we come back. That looks cool. Odd. Sam Rubin, new here at 10 o'clock. The Grand Revealed movie of the weekend is Argyle. We hang with the man who made the movie, the interesting story behind it, plus the stars. And if you're a Joe Rogan, I'm always amazed that people who have that ability to pinstripe. That is a true, true art. Free form and everything, and you're just doing it by hand. Uh, way to go. Hey, uh, this weekend, nothing like last weekend. Last weekend, we had above normal temperatures. We had clear skies. It was great. A little on the breezy side, but we're socked in. Just uh, about five, ten minutes ago when we were looking at this shot, it was uh, starting to clear up, but then the clouds move in, then it clears out a little bit, and that's the way it's going to be. Partly cl cloudy, uh, partly overcast, partly sunny, and a chance of rain at any given time. Rain temperatures, or I mean our temperatures, uh, looking about the same all the way across. We're going anywhere from 61 to uh, 55 degrees, actually a little bit cooler in the Inland Empire and the high desert. But when you get inland, coastal areas, low 60s to mid 60s is what you can expect. That's it. Frank, back to you. And new at 10, several suspects involved in a brawl with two police officers in New York's Times Square may have fled to California. Several outlets, including our sister station, PIX11 News in New York, cite NYPD sources who say at least four of the men involved in Wednesday's fight were seen boarding a bus to Calexico. The suspects are among 14 men charged and released without bail after the attack. They're all believed to be migrants who are staying at a city shelter in Times Square. Police say the fight broke out when officers asked some of the men to move from the front of that building. The LAPD has made arrests in connection with graffiti tagged on three unfinished skyscrapers in downtown LA. Despite those arrests, more taggers seen on the high-rise balconies overnight. KTLA's Eric Spillman live in downtown LA with what's being done about it. Eric, good morning. Morning, Jessica. We just heard from City Council Member Kevin DeLeon. He just held a news conference here, and he says he has a plan to deal with these high-rise buildings here that have become sort of a nationwide destination for taggers from all over the place. And you can see what they've done. They've spray-painted graffiti on just about every floor. These buildings are 27 stories high. It's part of a development called Oceanwide Plaza. It was supposed to be luxury apartments. The Chinese developer that owns it ran out of money and stopped construction in 2019. Now, as you can see, the taggers have been doing a lot of work here. They've been actually breaking in for weeks, leaving their mark on this place. Police arrest them, cite them for trespassing, and then release them. But they come right back again and tag once again. In fact, I want to show you some pictures from overnight, actually early this morning, where you could see the vandals at 1 a.m wearing hoodies and spray painting more graffiti on one of the higher floors here. We spoke to Council Member De Leon. He says the city has is issued an order to the U.S. holding company that owns this property demanding that they secure the place better and that they get rid of the graffiti by mid-February. He says the city could slap a few liens on the property. I asked him why the taggers aren't really being punished for what they're doing here. 
The unfortunate part is folks are not being prosecuted for trespassing, but also to, I want to send a clear message that our very own LAPD, they cannot be the private security force for ocean-wide developers. They need to hire their own security force to make sure they maintain the security of the perimeter of this building. This building is not yet complete. They've gone belly up. They run out of cash. It is an eyesore. It's my hope that someone can come in, buy it sooner than later, and restore this building. Councilmember De Leon says if the developer or the owner of this place doesn't take action here to clean this mess up and to keep out the vandals, the city should take care of that and send the owner a bill to pay for it. He's introducing a motion today at City Council uh, that would do that. And De Leon says, you heard him, that it would be great if somebody would just buy these buildings and finish the construction here. He says there is another developer who has expressed interest in buying this place and 